Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Veeresh. Uh, in the continuation to our series on step-by-step -step understanding of Spark and Scala uh, landscape, uh, how to build the different applications, solutions. Uh, in this particular edition of, of uh, in this particular video, what we're gonna see is that how we build a simple Spark Scala application and get it deployed onto the Azure Databricks cluster so that it can run into a distributed mode on number of different nodes which are provided as part of the uh, cluster that we will create. So in this particular video, we'll look how to create a cluster on the Azure Databricks and then how we can deploy our solution, our project onto that cluster and get it running. So guys, let's start. So let's jump on to the Azure Databricks instance. So this is the portal, we are on the Azure and I do have one Azure Databricks uh, workspace created, right? Let's launch this workspace. I think we launch this workspace. Okay, let's launch this workspace. Now, when we launch this workspace, uh, we'll get into this screen. Where you, on the left hand side, you will got number of different options asking for a sign in I just quickly sign in yeah so when you launch the Azure Databricks workspace on the left hand side you will see all these options Azure Databricks home workspace recent data cluster job models for the machine learning stuff etc and uh, we'll use the same code that you used in the previous video this is a code where we build this uh, Spark Azure Data Lake. It is available in the GitHub. A link would be in the description box. We created a, a simple program wherein we created some data frames and did show. We also did a integration of the same code with the data lake, which we did in the last video. We'll use the same code base and now try to deploy this particular solution onto the cluster. So if we look into the POM, what we have done is we have created a Uber jar using the Maven shaded plugin here, right? And we have given the main class, which is the entry point for our solution, right? Which happens to be this one. And then we can build this and it will generate us a spark data lake dot jar. So this is the jar that we have created. This is the Uber jar and this will go on to the cluster. Now, on the portal, on the left hand side, click on the clusters and we can create a new cluster for ourselves. Let's give some name, demo underscore deploy could be any name and this, I'll choose option for Scala 2.1, Spark 2.4.5. And then we can we can choose a node of say four cluster thirty four right so we got a cluster of four nodes and simply click on create cluster. So here we have created a simple cluster of two to four nodes, two being min. So as soon as you will do a job submission, two nodes would be created. And based on how much load is required, uh, on that basis, Azure Databricks will provision more nodes and the maximum it can go to four. So that's what it means when it says two to four. Now the next thing we'll have to do is we've created a cluster. On the left hand side, you've got an option to create a job. So let's open it in new link and we'll try to create a spark job for our solution. Click on create job. Let's give it the name say demo underscore job. And then we can take an option that says set jar. Click on set jar and we can go here and select the spark data lake jar. We have to do and in the main class, we'll have to enter this main entry. 
that is also in our perm so we can put that in the main class and any sort of uh, string argument to your main class right can be uh, for example any argument if you want to pass in here to the main that can go in here over the uh, separated by the space so if you have more than one uh, argument you can list all of them here just separate them no comma just separate them by the space so that will take in an array of all those string values that we are passing as an argument so now it's trying to load the spark job so now the file is uploaded let's do ok and here if you see this option in the cluster we'll select the cluster that we have created our demo cluster choose existing interactive cluster demo cluster let's confirm it now we can simply go and run our job so let's run this job so here one entry is created for the active running job just click on logs you can open the logs in next tab it will show all the spark submit logs here and here you can check the status let's see what happens so it is running it gives you all the coordinates the start time duration still running right you can refresh the logs see how far it has reached oh, okay if you see a job has is running all these data frames that we have data show for employee department as per our code it's employee department then the resultant will also come right you see the job has succeeded so we have now been able to submit our uh, spark job onto the cluster so there are only three steps involved first we'll have to go and create a cluster right second is we can go and create a job we in the job uh, when we have created uh, this job we have taken an option to set chart then we uploaded the chart and given the main class and then we simply went ahead and run the job right, onto that cluster and then onto that cluster we can check the spark logs and stuff that we are doing and in this way we can submit any spark scala application onto the spark data bits cluster so guys that's it in this particular video have a great day ahead keep learning bye bye